Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique J and you're watching Makeup by Mo. So here, we're gonna hop right into it. So you guys already know how I feel about the brows, so I'm gonna like speed talk through that a little bit because you guys know I don't really like taking too much time on doing a brow, so yeah. So the first thing I showed was my um, Fenty Beauty um, primer. So I had already primed my face off camera. And here now I'm going in with my LA pencil and I'm just lightly filling in and shaping my brow. Mm, looks fine to me. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it anyway with the concealer. So, so anyway, I'm gonna go on my um, Cine Beauty Pro Concealer, and that is in a color 440. And of course, I'm gonna fill my lid and then shape them. I do apologize too for sometimes I put my little compact mirror in a way you guys can see, but I'm sure you guys get the chance if you don't see it. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with my LA Pro concealer and add the color toast. And I'll do the top, shape the top. I usually like to put um, two different colors. Um, one for the lids, really, because um, eyeshadow won't go over. You really don't see it in the top. I like it to look freshly art, so I like it a little bit lighter than my skin. Then I'm going in with my um, uh, mini beauty blender, and I'm just gonna throw that in, dab it in, get it all even. And now that that's done, I'm going in with my Sasha's Buttercup, and I'm gonna set that. So now that's set, we're gonna go in with our the matte book and we're gonna start our transitional color. And this book don't have um, names of the colors, so I call them off as I see them. So the first color I'm going in with that brownish color, like a coffee color. And I'm gonna just fill that in all over my um, copper half of my lid. So now that's done, I'm going back in. I'm going in with that burgundy open color. And that's gonna be my crease color, or part of the crease. So once I get that all filled in, um, I'm gonna go over top of it, and I'm going in with that, like, I'm gonna say forest green. And I'm gonna put that on top of the I'm just going to fill that in. Mm, it looks funny now, but it'll turn out fine. <laughs> well, it did to me. So, I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo um, pencil. And I'm just facing my lids. I'm not really doing a cut crease. But um, the shadows are nice and vibrant, and I want them to stick out a little bit more. So I like the base on the lid. Like, you wanna go for a nice, pretty, bright, vibrant, you would use uh, white. If you want it to be nice and dark, you would use black as a base. But you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm just like basically carving out the bottom half just a little bit. You know, again, like I said, I'm not going really for a cut crease face. Um, you know, these hooded eyes. <laughs> but I just wanted the bottom half to be, you know, where you could see it. So 
too. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go back into the um, matte book and I'm going for that pretty blue color. Really blue. I remember using this blue um, for the sky when I would do coloring paper uh, when I was younger, like kindergarten. And this was like one of my favorite blues. Can't even remember the color, the name of it, I mean, but it was a go for me. And it looks exactly the same. So I'm putting that in my inner corner and I'm trying to make it as neat as possible because if you can see a little bit from um, the pencil, it got a little above, you know, a little above the crease line that I cut out, even though I'm not really doing a cut crease, but you know, hood of eyes, that's what happens. So now I'm going in um, with that pretty, like a bright neon lime green. Pretty. I didn't think I could pull these two colors off. And don't ask me why, I just didn't think it was gonna look right, but it wound up turning out okay to me. I don't know about, you know, you guys. You guys can leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. Um, I'm all open for any types of criticism, structural criticism, you know, you guys come for me, that's fine. <laughs> so anyway, now I'm going in with my glitter sticks and I'm gonna go over top of the blue a little bit because I was gonna do the black eyeliner, but then I was like, no, let me just stick with the colors. Just to give it a little sparkle because I wasn't putting falsies on so I figured I'd give my lashes a break a little bit I barely had none and sometimes the glue could be a little too harsh you know so now I'm going in with the green glitter stick and I'm going to give the green side a little bit of sparkle too now I'm going in with my peacock foyer funny because that's what I'm calling this look. It reminds me of a peacock because of the colors and how vibrant they are. Those are the main two colors you see in a peacock in real life when you go to the zoo or, you know. <laughs> so now I'm going in with my um, I Am Magic Juvia's Place Foundation, the color Kano 150. And I'm gonna dab that all over. And I'm gonna blend that out with my e.l.f. Pendant Brush. So now all that is done and said, I am going to go back in with the concealer and highlight under my eyes just a little tiny bit. Give it a little more bright, just a very tiny bit. I'm going to use my beauty blender and blend that in. And then I'm going to set it with the softest buttercup. So let that set the stop and crease in, you know, that like that under the eye might create or whatever, so. So now that's done, I'm going in with my next pencil for the eyeliner and I'm gonna do my waterline. I didn't smoke out the bottom either, which I thought about it afterwards, like, hmm, maybe I should smoke the bottom out, but I didn't know which color to use. If I should have used the blue or the black, because I wanted to stick with strictly these two colors. I could have used the dark green, but I didn't think about it so long afterwards. <laughs> Silly me. So now I'm going in with my Sahara blush palette, and I'm going to give my cheeks a little bit of rest, a little bit of touch, and I'm using the color base. So I'm gonna go in with my Femi Beauty um, Puzzle Baby Highlighter and I'm gonna highlight the cheeks, my, my high cheeks and my uh, cheekbone and I'm gonna use my um, Juvia's Place J111 brush and highlight um, my brow bones too, just a little bit. So 
So now I'm gonna go in with my wet and wild um, finish rose brush. Now I'm gonna prep my face. This is pretty much the finished look, you guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna mess around with my hair a little bit to wake that up. Pick up my curls a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna use my water bottle and yeah it's only water and um i mix mousse and it's too water and mousse so just to wake it up a little bit give it a little bit of hello hey i'm here <laughs> you know i'll fix my part a little bit a little crooked <laughs> Anyway, um, this is the finished look. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Uh, you watch your makeup on Mo. And goodbye.